Today, I will be teaching you how to design a modern certificate using PowerPoint. You do not need advanced software like Photoshop to create professional certificates. You can simply create one using PowerPoint so that next time you award a certificate to someone who truly deserves it, you will be proud to hand it over to them. Let's get going. Let's get kinetic. Okay, starting off with a fresh new slide, select the text boxes. We're not going to need them. Let's go to freepick.com and grab the design of Starline. Copy, head over to PowerPoint, and then paste it right here. Hindi rin natin kailangan yung background ng image na to, so we can crop them out. Go to crop and make sure that we are cropping it perfectly. Take note that in the Philippines, we typically print our certificates on, an, on either an A4 paper or an 8.5 by 11 paper. So with that, let's change the slide size to A4. Go to Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size, and choose A4. Hit OK and ensure fit. Good. Now, palakihin natin tong image na to dahil ititrace natin siya mamaya. After that, make sure that it's centered. Go to picture format and then align. Align center. We are ready to trace this design. Notice that there are actually triangles in this design. And let's start tracing the fifth triangle. How do we do that? Simply go to insert, go to shapes, and select isosceles triangle. Click and drag. And then make sure that this side of the triangle meets this side of the base triangle. How do we do that? Just drag it. Simple, right? And then the top of the triangle, drag it all the way to the left. So we have a right triangle. We need to make sure that this side of the triangle meets this side of the base triangle. And how do we do that? Just zoom out and then stretch this object to the top. Papansin niyo meron nang nag-extend sa labas ng slide. But don't worry, we can crop it out by simply inserting a rectangle. Let's cover the thing that we don't need. Then select the triangle and also the rectangle. Go to Merge Shapes and select Subtract. Yun. Ready na tayo mag-color ng, ng shape na to. But first, let's move it to the left. Right-click it, and then we need to apply the gradient because the base shape is actually a gradient object. Go to Fail, select Gradient. We're not going to need the third stop, so let's delete it. And from the last stop, go to Color, and then select Eyedropper Tool. Hover it kung saan natin ikokopya yung color. I'll start from this. Select the second stop. Let's go to the middle part of the base triangle. And lastly, the last stop. There you have it. Don't forget to remove the outline. Reposition it back to the slide. Copy it. So that we can paste it onto a fresh new slide. Para hindi tayo mahirapan mamaya. Go back to slide 1, and then recycle natin tong ginawa natin shape to create the bigger triangle. Okay, let's crop out the excess portion of this shape. Select it, and then the newly formed shape, and then go to Merge Shapes, select Subtract. Now, if you notice from the design, this is actually a fainter hue of this color, so we can increase the transparency of these stops para ma-achieve natin yung kaparehan niya. There you go. Let's cut this shape and then paste it to slide 2. Good. Go back to slide 1 and it's time for us to create the gold shape. Same process, isosceles triangle. Drag it and then make sure it meets the end of the slide. Adjust it. 
so that it's exactly the same form that we wanted. Insert a rectangle and then let's, subtr let's subtract them. Go to Merge Shape and then Subtract. There you go. You will notice that if we click the gradient fill, i-apply lang niya kung ano yung huli nating gradient fill. Okay, but we're not going to need that. We're not going to use that. So let's bring back the transparency to zero. And then move natin siya para may, meron tayong space to copy the color of the gold. Use the eyedropper tool. And then select the portion of the gold object that we want to copy. Galing ng eyedropper tool, no? It's a powerful tool. Again, don't forget to get rid of the outline. Reposition and cut. Paste it to slide 2. Meron pa tayong three triangles to recreate. But allow me to please speed up the process for you. Para hindi kayo mabor. Gradient. Play around with the gradient. That's it. Now, two triangles to go. Same process. It's very mechanical. Anybody can actually do it. If you find this very fast, just head over here and look for the gear icon if you're on a PC or a Mac. But if you're using your phones, go to the upper right portion of your screen. Look for the menu button, playback speed. Now it's time for us to create the last triangle, finally. Okay, place it right here. Another trick that I'm going to teach you is to use the format painter. So just select or source of the format and then select the object that you want it to be applied on. What else is missing? Let's go back to slide one. Okay, zoom in tayo. You will notice that there is actually a pattern of lines here. We can recreate that in PowerPoint. But before that, Let's enable our guides para mas mapadali ang ating trabaho. Now, we are ready to, to recreate these lines. Let's first draw an angle that looks like this and then change its color. Kailangan yung color niya medyo pareho dun sa main color na ginagamit natin. Okay. Resize the shape. Or the angle so that magin parallel sa dun sa background. And then let's cut it, insert a new blank slide so that we can duplicate this line a lot of times now. The shortcut to duplicate is to click Control Alt and then drag it to the, to the right. Control A to select all and then do the same process all over again until we have enough number of lines. Once you have enough number of lines, you can select everything and then go to arrange, align, and distribute horizontally. Now, pare pareho na sila ng horizontal spaces, okay? We can group them together and then cut, go to slide three, and paste it as a picture. Now, when we paste it as a picture, Hindi na natin siya mapwedeng ma-ungroup kasi picture na siya. We can easily resize it like this. And then, move natin siya para matakpan niya yung triangle na dapat magkaroon ng ganitong pattern, which is the third triangle. This triangle. Okay, let's cut that image and put it on slide 2. Also, copy the third triangle and then paste it to slide 2. There we go. And then, i-intersect lang natin that. Let's, let's use the intersect, intersect so that we will be left with this. Cool, right? So, alam nyo na siguro kung saan patungo tong tutorial na to. Paste ulit natin dito. I-reposition natin siya by going to align, align it to the left and to the top, okay? If you feel like the color of the image is not good, you can go to picture format, 
corrections and choose from any of the options here. I think this looks good, so let's select it. Better. Okay, what else is missing? It's the border, right? So we can recreate that by putting a rectangle here. And then let's remove the fill. But let's leave the outline. Let's make the outline the same color as the darkest hue. And then copy and then paste it right here. You can adjust the width of the border. If you want it a stronger border, that's fine. But for me, I'm good with this. All right. We still don't have we still don't have the logos, but uh, let's uh, let's do that later on. For now, going mo natin yung mga text. For us to have a cleaner workspace and for us to see kung ano yung mga movements sa slide, let's increase the transparency of this image. Okay, now we are ready to type in our text. Let's start off with the word certificate. Select. Let's change the font. The font is Old English Text MT. Let's also make it bigger. And then choose a color that is best for this word. I feel like it needs to be a dark one. So let's go ahead and select. Not that. Uh, I think that's better. Okay. Next word, off achievement. Let's type it in. Good. Select and then change it to a different font. You can also decrease the size of it because it's too big. And you can also in play around with the kerning or the horizontal spaces between the letters by going here and type in a good number. We can play around with it so that you can learn more about it. Next word is, this certificate is presented to. Same kerning, so we're not going to worry about the number for that. Uh, let's do the next text. Let me just add a dummy text to this one. Then adjust the text box and then align. Perfect. Okay, now it's time for us to add the name of the signatory and also his or her designation. The designation, you can just make it a smaller uh, smaller font because it doesn't need to be as uh, pronounced as the name of the signatory. Let's group them together. Put a line above it. A uh, dark blue line would be good. Make sure that they are centered properly and then we can group them together. Duplicate because usually there are two signatories here in the Philippines. And now it's time for us to put a name for our awardee. Now let's pretend it's going to be given to me. So this is Captain Kinetic Jr. the third. Why did I put Jr. the third? Just to make sure that we have a, uh, enough spaces to accommodate, accommodate any Long names. Change the colors to a better one. I think that's it. Okay, we are ready to cut this thing and then paste it to slide three. Done. Okay, now it's time for us to do this logo. Um, I have six or eight options of logos. Let's just use option one. Resize, put it at the center and at the middle, and then let's put a hollow circle that is smaller than the ribbon. Smaller than the ribbon, okay? Let's adjust even the weight of the circle or the hollow. I think that's good. Also create a, the inner circle. It should be smaller than the hollow circle, definitely. Align that in just a center at some middle, and I think that's it. We can group them together, remove the outline, and then put a nice dark color to it, just like that. Dark teal, no, dark blue. Okay, cool. Select all the objects together and then group them, and then paste it to slide two. Resize na natin siya. You can put it anywhere, but it has to be somewhere here. 
we can also add a shadow to the gold object or to the ribbon. Just select it and go to shadows and let's select this shadow. Take a look at the settings for my shadow. You can use them. Or you can just simply download the free template that I'm giving you. Okay? I hope it's going to be useful for you guys. Just check the link below. And I hope this tutorial added knowledge to you so that you can create your own certificate in PowerPoint and not to worry about expensive designers out there. You can do it on your own. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of any uploads that I'll be creating in the future. You can also check our Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and type in Kinetic Slides.